Hello everyone, I want to welcome you here to Prog Monster. My name is Murph, I am the host of this show, a show dedicated to progressive rock and other forms of rock music. So today, Thursday, we are doing the bi-weekly episode of Ranking the Songs. Last week we did album sides, this week we're doing Ranking the Songs. Basically, I take an album from a band that I like, and I rank the songs according to how I like them. That's pretty much all there is to it. I chose an album today that I like quite a bit. Uh, this was actually an introductory album to me, for me. You, if you were around on Tuesday, you would have seen the video on this album. Um, so it's getting double duty this week. And this week we're talking about Tab in the Ocean. Yes, Tab in the Ocean from Nectar. Sorry a blank there for a second even though i'm holding the album i couldn't even remember the name of it yeah this intricate cover really nice cover nice cover work on the back as well and you see as you can see the print you have the original 72 mix and the 1976 us mix and then you have some bootleg stuff here at the bottom from germany and a live studio part in 1973 on desolation valley and waves so, but we're going to be ranking the original, of course, because that's the way we always do it. And there are four tracks on this album. Uh, the first track is 16 minutes and 53 seconds long. That's Tab in the Ocean. Second track's 8 minutes and 13 seconds. That's Desolation Valley and Waves. The third track is Crying in the Dark, which is 629. And then the final track, which is the shortest, King of Twilight, 422. So this is actually a pretty difficult album to rank because I it's it kind of is like hemispheres and for me in a way is that all I, I like all four tracks pretty close to evenly. Same thing going on here, all four tracks pretty close to evenly. I would probably say that my least favorite, if put a gun to my head, would be Desolation Valley and Waves. So that's gonna be the fourth track. That's what's gonna come in fourth. And for those of you who knew, that's normally how I do it. I rank them from my least favorite to my most favorite, worst to first, whatever you want to call it. And so we'll end up with the number one song as being the last one I talk about. So the next um, of the tracks on here that I probably like the least, or my number three track, is probably A Tab in the Ocean, the title track, which is difficult because I really like this track a lot. It's just I like the other two much better. So... My number two track is going to be King of Twilight. This is a song that was covered by Iron Maiden, I believe. Was it Iron Maiden? Might have been Iron Maiden that covered this. Um, definitely a heavier song. The whole album is quite heavy for a progressive rock band. This is a heavy metal that... This is a progressive sound that kind of rivals um, Rush in that same kind of heaviness. Um, and then you have the number one song for me, which is Crying in the Dark by a hair over to King of Twilight, which was also a hair over uh, Tab in the Ocean, which was a little bit more over Desolation Valley. But all four tracks, absolutely killer. I like the live version on this album quite a bit as well. Anyways, so that's, that's my ranking for the Nectar's Tab in the Ocean. I'll just go over them again. So a uh, number one was Crying in the Dark. This was actually the third track on the, on the album. Uh, number two was King of Twilight, the last track on the album. Uh, number two, or sorry, yeah, number uh, three on the album was Desol uh, was uh, Tab in the Ocean, which was actually the first track on the original release. And then the number one, or the number four song on the album for me, Desolation Valley Waves which is the second track on the album. So yeah, really, really solid album. It's got some nice stuff in here. Both both discs you can see are really good. This is a fantastic album. If you haven't had a chance to listen to any Nectar albums, I highly recommend this if, you're, if you like that heavier prog sound and longer compositions with lots of heavy guitar and... Uh, it, and just really catchy tunes as well. All four of them and a lot of hooks on them. So anyways, that's the ranking of the albums for the week that we're in currently. Uh, the album Tab in the Ocean by the band Nectar, released in 1972 originally. 
excellent albums, and that's my ranking for them for the week. I hope you enjoy the ranking of the songs video. I mean, yeah, video. If you have, please hit the like and subscribe. Rank the songs how you want in the comment section below. That, that would be interesting. I mean, interesting to see if people like like it the same way as me, or perhaps they prefer one of the other tunes uh, up at the top. And uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell, and we will see you next week when we'll be doing, and instead of doing the episode of Ranking the Songs, we'll be back to album sides. I'm hoping I'm going to get a good one for that as well. So take care and have yourself a good evening. Goodbye.